Hello everyone, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day, making some really good trades. And yep, we can see that Bitcoin is now back at 36,224, now breaking some major support and starting to come back down to these levels right here, as we can see coming back down to 36,245. And we can see that we did come down exactly to our target right here. We can take a look at the one hour time, one hour candle right here. And we can see that our purple trend line came back down exactly to a touch point of 35,400. I know some people play some longs there from my previous video. You guys can take a look at it. Also, this chart is in the Discord. I posted it in live trades telling people to be careful. Uh, and, and I did <laughs> myself enter a trade at 30, 37,500, expecting a bounce at these levels, maybe reversing back up towards the upside before drop, ultimately dropping back down. But, you know, with crypto, you never know what's going to happen. And we could see that, you know, we did come back down, pushing us down all the way down to 35,300 at the moment. So unfortunately, we are in a bit of a pickle right now and a bit of a loss, but that's no problem. We are going to do what we always do. We're going to exercise proper risk management. And if we take a loss on this one, then we walk away and we live to trade another day. Now, Ethereum, on the other hand, taking breaking down some major support right here. I had the, some levels set here at uh, 28, $2,800 and $2,624 right there. Unfortunately, we are starting to break below those levels we can see right now. We did end up closing the daily underneath it. We are starting to get some wicks up on the daily uh, the daily time frame to 26.16, but we're still sitting at 25.68 right now. So not looking too good for Ethereum, in my opinion. And if this if this starts to keep if it, if this keeps going, then we're gonna start to run into some major support at 23.30. After that, if we break those levels, we have some the next supports coming in. At right here we have uh, 1771 and we also have some support coming in at uh, right here let's take a look right there 14 uh, 1419 but uh, even then we, we still we still have a lot of a lot of way uh, movement down to go so definitely take that into account guys we are in a very over leveraged market as we can see the Dow Jones today coming down breaking major trend we actually ended up I was debating on entering a long here for the Dow Jones at this trend line right here, but ultimately decided against it. And we could see that, you know, it ended up closing the day at 34 to 39. Uh, congratulations to you guys who shorted this right here. I posted this in the chat in the in the discord and you you know you guys could have made some really good gains right here let's take a look how much right here 4.9 percent with leverage it was even more so definitely could have made some really good gains right there guys and they could look at the spy right now as well spy also breaking major 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 uh major trend lines right at the moment i believe there is another one that i could draw up uh, i'll post in the discord later but basically there's another trend line that we could take a look at that the, the sp500 is still inside and well within uh the ch the channel i believe if i'm not mistaken and good thing we closed our trade on the russell 2000 because now we are now sitting at 1987 right so we, we definitely close our trade at a, a significant loss but it would have stopped us from losing even more if we would have held our trade to today we would have lost our entire trade 5.64 percent with 20 leverage would have been more than enough to liquidate us at the moment so and obviously you could have shorted this level but this was acting as support for a very long time i expected to act as support once again but we eventually broke down as the, you know the other the other indexes start to break down as well gold however holding pretty pretty strong as we could see 1834 not coming down that much you know i was expecting gold to come down significantly more with the markets but holding quite strong and we could take a look at silver as well not moving too much as well so holding their ground quite nicely and we still have that next inflationary uh that next, that next cpi uh <laughs> what am i saying cpi numbers are coming out in february 10th so definitely keep it a close eye on that too guys uh, for the time being i'm gonna hold my trade on bitcoin hope it comes back to 37500 if it does come back to those levels i might close it at break even but on the dbsi it's not looking too great as we can see the weekly time frame with a nine and a zero still but the, the daily time frame is looking significantly worse now with a 14 and a minus five momentum waves extending further down with money flow increasing into the red vwap is probably could still have a little bit more you know downside to go as well so 
not looking too bullish at the moment we do have the four hour however starting to curl up a bit with the momentum waves maybe we might get a bit of a green dot or a big green dot right there so maybe a potential long might be coming on a one hour we can see we have a couple green dots here but you know we have those manipulation x's so that invalidates your trade right there and you you know you don't want to trade or get into some long positions when you see these yellow x's that could you know it's manipulation and you don't want to get into that at all and let's take a look at the Dow Jones on the uh, the DBSI with market cipher. Let's take a look right here. There we go. We can see that on the daily daily time frame with a 13 and a minus three, so not looking too great. And the money flow starting to increase into the red on the daily time frame. Well, what's interesting to me is that we have a red dot right and a 15 and a minus five right here for the Dow Jones. Right now the money flow is still in the green, but I believe this is the first time that we've closed our candle all the way down at 34.227 or 34.239, basically all the way down here. So the next weekly candle, in my opinion, that I expect to be significantly even more bearish than this, I believe we might keep extending downwards towards the downside, uh, and the bleeding might continue into into the into the traditional markets, which could cause Bitcoin and other you know other markets to keep crashing down as well. So. Definitely take that into account guys when you make your trades look at the traditional markets first and see what they're doing before making your trades Anyways guys, you guys have a wonderful day make some really good trades. I'm pretty tired I'm gonna get some rest well deserved and if you guys haven't already definitely join our discord That's where I post all my trades and all my chart and all my analysis and If you haven't already definitely join bigger.com you get $158 in bonus and you get 10% deposit bonus. Thanks for listening guys. Love you guys. Peace